Heidi Ho, my friends, Matthew here from the Medical Medium Way, and I'm excited because today we're going to talk about avocados, or as I like to say, butter of the forest. But first, I want to introduce you to my friend Brock. Brock is a Brogdon avocado tree, and Brock is producing amazing, beautiful avocados right now. Brogdon's originated from Tom Brogdon's property in Winter Haven, Florida, which is only about an hour and a half south of here. This is going back into the 1930s, 1920s. So Brogdon avocados have been around for quite a long time. And what's interesting about Brogdon avocados is as they mature, their skin goes purple, almost the way uh, um, an eggplant skin is purple. So here's another, here's another darker one right here. That's beautiful. We had a bad storm come through here yesterday and knocked off several avocados from the tree. So we're gonna wait for those to ripen. And we're gonna make guacamole, the medical medium way with those. And so that'll be part two of this video. So if uh, avocados are high in fat and uh, if you're on the 369 cleanse, you wanna go easy on the avocados and it's best to not have any fat in the morning. If you're gonna throw some avocados in a salad at lunchtime, that's not so bad, but it's ideal to wait until dinner time if you're gonna have some radical fat like an avocado. Uh, what's interesting, what, other, what else is interesting about these is, is there's the seed inside is almost like it's two different seeds that were mashed together. You could see that crease all the way around. And uh, it's, it's curious, uh, where no one really understands where this cultivar came from and how it developed. Uh, it could be a combination of, of two, the, the, West, the West Indian and another avocado. So, uh, but what's, what's nice about it is it's very close to the consistency of a Haas. It's creamy and it makes great guacamole. A lot of Florida avocados are very watery and they don't make good guacamole. You can use them on sandwiches and other things, throw them in salad, but once you start mixing them up, you just end up with soup, and it's not, uh, and that's not creamy like a Haas. Uh, Haas is the widest cultivated uh, avocado crop in the world. Anytime you go to the supermarket, you're gonna find a Haas avocado there. Uh, but Brogdens are lots of fun to grow at home and uh, it's, it's middle of August now, and the tree is, is uh, ready to be harvested. I've been pulling avocados off for a week or two now, and they're amazing, delicious, and creamy, and, and really nice. The, the other interesting thing about the Brogdon avocados is the peel is so thin. You can't scoop out the flesh with a spoon. You actually have to, I trim, I trim off the skin with a knife, and I just, I trim it off like that way, and, uh, and do it that way. So uh, let's go inside. We'll take a look at the avocados that came down and uh, we'll talk about, we'll talk more about the benefits of avocados. So here are the avocados that came off the tree yesterday in that really bad storm that we had. And here are the seeds from avocados that I've already eaten. And you can see that crack really well that that goes all the way around the whole seed and it makes it look as if two different seeds were smashed together. So that's interesting. What I'll do with these is I'll plant these in soil in pots and see if I can grow new Brogdon avocado trees. Because they're a really nice avocado, they do well in this zone. Haas avocados aren't quite as cold tolerant as these are and so Haas are grown much further south in South Florida. Uh, and this is a better choice for the zone 9B where I'm at. Now, in spite of the fat content in avocados, they're still included in the top 50 foods in the Medical Medium Life-Changing Foods book. And so I just wanted to summarize for you quickly the benefits of what avocados have to offer. They can eliminate digestive disorders like Crohn's, IBS, and colitis. They reduce polyps. They contain omega-6 fatty acids that are good for your brain and your central nervous system. They contain anti-aging properties for your skin as well. And so what we learn in Liver Rescue is right off the bat in chapter two, Medical Medium says you gotta bring down your fat, 
content in your diet to 15% of calories, which is equal to about one avocado. So that's your whole fat uh, allotment in your diet for the whole day between that and if you're going to mix mix that up with nuts and seeds or coconut oil or anything else so it really helps you understand that we're we're shooting for a low fat diet so that we can give the liver a break and let the body do the healing process that it needs to do fat is broken down in the intestines by bile which is produced by the liver through the gallbladder and so every type of fat requires a different type of bile blend that the liver needs to produce in order to break it down. So what that tells us is that the fat in avocados is different from the fat in anything else, beef, chicken, or coconut oil for that matter. So we just want to uh, understand that we got to keep our fats low. Avocados are good for us, but we don't want to go overboard. And uh, once these ripen, I'll be back to show you how I make guacamole the medical medium way.